Hello and welcome to Love Film Instant Presents. On this edition, we discover some of the Love Film team's guilty pleasures and we talk to Chief Marketing Officer Simon Morris, who talks us through his three must-see crime dramas. But first, here are our top 10 film and TV titles we're most excited about this week. In at 10, BBC drama Robin Hood rides onto the service. Gerard Butler shows us his pants in Zack Snyder's 300 at 9, while Aussie crime drama Animal Kingdom takes 8th place. And at 7, Keira Knightley gets tempted by another in Last Night. Naomi Watts and Sean Penn are fair game at 6, get outnumbered by everybody's favourite family at 5, or lost in District 9 at 4. In at 3, it's Teen Vamp Wolf Love Triangle Eclipse. Liam Neeson takes control at 2 with Unknown, while Ricky Gervais hits the top spot with Cemetery Junction. Yeah. Free boots. Free buds. Gonna get messy. Fucker me. A bit rude. Hi everyone, my name's Simon. I'm the CMO of Love Film. I'm going to talk to you about three films. Let's start with Zodiac. It's based on the story of a serial killer in the San Francisco area. It's a David Fincher movie. It's very graphic, brutal, shocking, and a classic. My next film uh, is another David Fincher movie called Seven. It's great acting from Brad Pitt. Do you like what you do for a living? Morgan Freeman, always fantastic. These things you see. Kevin Spacey plays the well, insane murderer in this film, and he plays it really, really well. This guy's methodical, exacting, and worst of all, patient. Training Day makes you question genres. Is he a baddie? Is he a goodie? Is he an anti-hero? Is he a hero? They build jails because of me. It's a fantastic performance by Denzel Washington, for which he was given an Oscar. I'm the police! King Kong ain't got nothing on me! And now for something a little more light-hearted, we're on the hunt for those guilty pleasures. My guilty pleasure is Loser. Um, it's from the golden age of bad team comedies. This one's actually quite good. I've come across Dying Buds of May for the first time since I was 14. I hate to admit it, but I'm actually a big fan of rom-coms and I really enjoyed Rumour Has It. My guilty pleasure is The Princess Diaries. It's an amazing teen comedy and it's every girl's dream come true. My guilty pleasure is The Ugly Truth. This film won't win any awards, but the scene in the restaurant with the buzzing underwear literally had me crying with laughter. Alas, our time is drawing to a close. So here are some important dates for your diary. You have until the 31st of March to watch series one and two of Courtney Cox's Dirt. And from the 1st of April, they'll be joined by all time classic, Stab By Me. The excellent documentary, TT Closer to the Edge, drives onto the service from the 22nd of April. Zac Efron will be joining us in Me and Orson Welles from the 17th of April. And Jennifer Love Hewitt talks to the dead in Ghost Whisperer available from the 1st of April. As always, thank you very much for watching and don't forget, you can keep up to date with all the latest additions to the Love Film service via our Facebook and Twitter pages.